video is about line following and so this is our accurate line following program it's the simpler version so basically when you want to follow a line you only want to follow one edge of the line and in this case it's the right edge so half what the light sensor will be detecting will be half black and half white in a perfect case so notice it over here so it's following the right edge and the C motor is on the left and the B motor is on the right. So right now, if both their powers were the same, then it will go straight. But let's say that the robot was tilted to this side so that the light sensor detected the white part. So what you would want it to do is you would want to give the B motor more power so that it turns back into the left to get back on the line. And if it is turned to the left on the black part of the line, then um, you would want the C motor to have more power than the B motor so that it turns to the left to get back on the edge. So it's again half black and half white. So that's what you would want the program to do. So this is how we do it. So um, we have a loop over here on the outside, which is set to infinity to unlimited just for this case. Like you wouldn't actually want it to keep going forever. I don't know. So what it does first is it measures the value of the color sensor. It measures the ref reflected light intensity. And so then what it does is it takes the value, which is a number from 0 to 100, with 0 being the darkest and 100 being the lightest and it divides it by 20 and it rounds it down so then you get an integer from 0 to 4 and 0 if the if the light intensity was from 0 to 19 1 if it was from 20 to 39 and etc so 0 will be if it's the darkest and 4 will be if it's the lightest so what it does is it after it rounds down the value, it plugs it in to this switch, which is in case mode. So it's in numeric. So then we have these cases, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, which will be used depending on what this integer is. So these are our cases. So case 0, which is again if um, it's if it's very dark, then it has a sharp turn right. So we have the C motor, which is the left, has 60 power, and the B motor, which is the right, has 35. So since the left motor has more power, it will turn sharply to the right. Um, case 1 is it's a slight turn to the right. So the left motor has 55, and the right motor has 45. So it's, the difference of power is only 10, so it only turns a little bit to the right. Case 2 is our default case, and it has 55 power for both motors, so it just goes straight. Case 3 is, it turns slightly to the left, so um, the right motor has 55 power, and the left motor has 45, so it turns to the left slightly. And finally, case 4 it has the right motor at 60 power and the left motor at 35 power. So basically what we showed over here is that if it has if the color sensor detects a more black value then it turns to the right to get back on the edge of black and white and if it has a more white value a lighter value then it will turn to the left to get back to the line. So that is how we go how we follow the line. So if you want your color sensor to work accurately, you want to calibrate it first. So this is our calibrate program. So what it does first is it sets the minimum value. So it measures the reflected light intensity of the color sensor and displays it on the screen just for reference. And it's in a loop which stops until the middle brick button is pressed. So once you reach the minimum value so once you're at like an entirely black part then you press the middle button so it stops and it uses that value it uses the color sensor calibrate block to um, to set it to the minimum value 
And so then you need to put a weight block over here. We did we did it for like half a second because because uh, it needs time to register the value. So over here we repeated the same thing, just for the maximum value. So everything else here was the same, but it was set to maximum value over here. And again we put a weight block. So basically you would want to set the minimum value when your color sensor is over the darkest point on black and you'd want to set the maximum value when it's entirely over white. Another thing that you could also um, look into doing is like making a self calibrate program which like maybe it could go forward and back and in that time it if it detected white and black it, it will set the whitest value that it fo found to maximum and the darkest value to minimum and it will do it all itself so it could save you some time. Now we're going to be talking about how to create an advanced smooth line following program. Keep in mind that you can't just copy and paste this. There's a lot of values that you need to set yourself. So be sure to understand what's going on. So the first thing that happens is we're taking uh, the current value which is from 0 to 100. 0 being black and 100 being white. So then we're going to subtract it by 50. And what this allows it to do is make it the range from negative 50 to positive 50. Then we're going to multiply by the gain. The gain is a value uh, definitely smaller than 1. In this case, it's 0 0.3. And it changes the range to make it smaller. So from instead of negative 50 to 50, we're going to multiply each value by 0 0.3 to make it negative 15 to positive 15. The higher the gain, the bigger the range it will be, and the more sharp turns it will make. So let's say if it were 0 0.4, then the range would be from 20 to uh, negative 20 to positive 20. And then what would happen is um, when, a cur when it detects black, it will swerve sharply, and if it detects white, it will swerve sharply to the uh, black. So that means the higher the gain, the more sensitive it is to the values it's given. After we have our range from negative 15 to positive 15, we're going to add it or subtract it depending on which motor we're doing. And you can figure out whether the, we're subtracting it and it gives it to C or it gives it to B by um, looking at which side of the line you're following and which motors are your right and left motors. So that depends on whether the top program here is C or the bottom program here is B. So anyways, it subtracts or adds it uh, from a set speed. So in this case, 55. So now let's do a brief run through. So let's say uh, the light sensor detects black or zero. So it starts out from zero here. We're going to subtract 50 from it. So it'll become negative 50. We're going to multiply by 0 0.3 to get negative 15. And finally, we're going to subtract it in this case and add it. So now C has a power of 70 and B has a power of 40. So as you can see, this is the most extreme case, 40 and 70. So if our gain was higher, then it'd probably be uh, more extreme of a turn, so it would react more. That's all for the video. Thanks for watching.